Hello again. Um, today I'm going to show you about 40 tools that all have this strange yellow patina, which I feel is a really ancient patina. And um, it seems to me that these are all made into these um, rather early tools, lower Paleolithic I should think. Um, I'll go through them one by one. This is a hand axe this beautiful patina on it, down to a nicely worked point, also with the notch on this one. They don't seem to have used many strikes with these, this type of stone as well. Like these, these hand axes, quite crude, but effective. And the striking point, the platform at the back. There's a couple of other smaller version here. This is a scraper. Feels nice in the hand as well. Nice finger holds. Here's another point with a cortex left on for the grip. Here's another one. They've left most of the cortex on, of course. This is a smaller. Just a little scraper. Here's another axe similar to those other two. Quite un asymmetrical. Possibly a dual tool. This could be a burin at the end as well. Quite exquisite in their way, although quite simplistically made. Here's another one. This one, I like this one. It's just got a nice point like that. And that's about the only work done on the tool. They've obviously found the stone like this with a perfect grip to it and a nice simple point. Here's a nice axe head with this patina. Looks half looks like it's been hafted this one as well. The fresher flint here has probably been covered with wood and this notch possibly was used to put something into it to hold it on. Looks like a classic axe head. Here's another axe head, it's been worked to this point, the flat base. Here's another little smaller one, just nicely worked there where your finger goes as well. Here's another one similar to that one, also made out of a pebble, but again look, just minimally worked to this really beautiful point. This patina, I, I feel, could have been caused after a mega volcano eruption. There tends to be a lot of sulfuric acid in the air, like in, Eng in England. 19 1815 was known as the year without a summer. If you, if you look in any of Turner's paintings, you see the yellow sky. That was the sulfuric acid from, I think it was Lake Tambora, the eruption. These are scrapers. And I feel that the acid rain could have formed on these on the patina of this sto these stones. Um, to have left this sort of yellow pitted surface and patina to it. This is just a chopper. There's another axe. blade. Nicely worked on both sides. These places here where they seem more coloured, I always feel that it was caused because these tools were used with bloody and greasy hands and have stained it. Um, there's actually two here that are quite interesting. This one which is a really old patina to a point. But what's interesting I find is this bit here, which seems like a little donut, like for fixing perhaps, made out of clay. And the interesting thing is there's another one on this tool. 
it looks like it's actually a material that's been put on to fix like a clay donut something was fitted into that hole the same as in that one you know, this one's just a little scraper um, these are some more scrapers Here's a more classic one, quite a large scraper. It's very old, patina, pitted. And the platform at the back where it was struck, and good grip on it. It's quite thin. And the convex shape in the middle. Here's another tool with this patina. I found a few of these, I'm not sure what they are. I mean, they could be used for like crushing like this, or maybe some sort of hammer stone. Here's another scraper. And another one. This one has holes in it as well. Nicely worked, but minimalistically, and a nice platform on the back. Well, I think that's it. There's about 40 here. And this one, I don't know what it is. It's a strange stone. Looks like there's been inserts put in it. It does actually stand up, so it could be some artistic representation that way up it looks like a bird anyway that's it for now please leave your thoughts I'm interested to know what um, you think of these I personally think these are a, a, an older pattern and maybe left on the ground maybe they were on the ground after the Yellowstone eruption 640,000 years ago um, anyway that's it. Thanks very much.